Growing up Filipino American meant having white rice for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Rice is so important to Filipino culture that there are nine ways to say rice in Tagalog. And I mean, rice is life, right? But unfortunately, this study found that Filipino Americans had higher rates of diabetes compared to other Asian American groups and were found to be three times more likely to have diabetes compared to non-Hispanic whites. And according to Stanford Medicine, overconsumption of simple carbohydrates like white rice can increase risk for diabetes. So with the issues that come with diabetes, is rice really life? Dr. Brian Escao here, California licensed naturopathic doctor and first generation Filipino American here in LA. Let's chat about rice and blood sugar tips for Filipino Americans. The standard serving of cooked white rice is half a cup per day. So if somebody's having it three times a day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, that's around one and a half cups a day. But according to this study, the regular Filipino diet has around three and a half cups of cooked rice a day. So the first tip is moderation. Us Filipinos can have up to 233% more than the standard amount of cooked rice per day. And honestly, moderation is key. So try to aim for that half a cup Per meal. And according to the American Diabetes Association, we should aim for a plate like this with 50% non-starchy vegetables, 25% carbohydrate foods, and 25% protein. Now, are there any swaps for white rice? Yes, low sugar swaps for white rice include brown rice, quinoa, and other whole grains. I know, I know, I can't imagine having brown rice with like garlic fried rice, but I found out brown rice is yummy with mungo, kare kare, sinigang, nilaga, and other brothy Filipino dishes. But I know you. Many of you Filipinos are still thinking, rice is life. I get it. So if you can't totally let go of white rice, there are three ways to hack carbohydrates effect on blood sugar while still eating in moderation. Number one, cool that cooked white rice. According to this study, cooling cooked white rice for 24 hours in 4 degrees Celsius and then reheated lowered glycemic response compared to freshly cooked white rice. Tip two, eat your veggies. According to the study, eating vegetables first and carbohydrates last supported post-meal blood sugar response. Number three, vinegar. Filipinos love their suka or vinegar, so this might not be hard. According to the study, having around two to six tablespoons of vinegar with meals supported healthy blood sugar response after eating carbohydrates. Okay, I have one last tip. Let's get walking guys. According to this study, going on a 20 minute walk right after eating supported post-meal blood sugar response. I know that was a lot, so you can find the clip notes version down in the caption below with references.